Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Probably the only thing I remember from an art course I took was single point perspective. Mm. <laughs> yep, right in the center. I love it. I love this so much. Oh my goodness. Is, is this a follow up to the previous picture where the groom wakes up <laughs> model, looking straight up? <laughs> well, the bottle was empty. Right, <laughs> oh. Just gorgeous That's leading gorgeous. lines on yeah. this. The leading lines are framing this image to, yeah, like Patrick said, the single point perspective <laughs> and the color, the just so vibrant, so it's so fall. It feels yeah. comfortable. I love this. I wonder if the photographer mm. was actually lying on the ground. Yeah. And that's shooting up through a bush rather than a tree. Right. Like a tree to me. <laughs> when we photo jam inspires me is what all of you that all the different things all of you do with um, focus and the impact of that. And so this really draws that inspiration for me too is you know, the, the dimension, the directionality of the trees and the leaves, and then the clarity, like where are the clarity points in the photo? I just, I'm always looking for that when I'm here at Photo Jam because you're also amazing with that. And so this is just, this is just incredible in, in that way. And I love the different colors of green also um, in the forefront, the darker green all the way to the lime, lime, I guess lime, yellow lime uh, at the top. Yeah, the two dominating colors are like that orange and green, orange, yellow, and green. Yeah, it was such a great idea to take that 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 angle, you know, because um, it, it's crazy because you don't know where this could be exactly. It could be just a small park, you know, uh, and you can get such a nice shot like this. <clears throat> So imagine taken with a really wide angle lens, shooting up at the trees will give you this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think you guys are in, still in fall, but we're out of fall. And so I'm really drawn to this moment in time because of the leaves with the green, right? The green in the center where there are still some green leaves in there plus the dark red. And so it's a little bit like, you know, the next day, this would not look have looked this way. And the day before it would not have looked this way, that this is a very much at this moment in time type photo to me. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Julie, tell us about it. No, thank you, everyone. Um, this was shot at Ricketts Glen, and I didn't do enough research to find out like where the best waterfalls are without killing myself like hiking. So um, I was really happy with all the colors of the leaves. So that's like what I focused on while I was there. Um, and I really like this image because in the center, I feel like it looks like a heart. Oh. So. <laughs> That's like one of my, I like that. <laughs> uh, so sweet. Hey. Nice job, Julie. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's great. I was up Ricketts kind of a couple weeks ago and uh, it was pouring rain. Oh, no. Yeah. Pouring rain, yeah. Oh. Yeah, a friend of mine was up there too. I'd like to go back and really like, know where I'm going, like where to find all the best falls. Cause you know, I was a little disappointed that, you know, that's what I went there for, but I was, I'm so happy with all the colors that was there. Um, so I'm trying not to focus on that. I'll go again next year and I'll find, I'll find the falls. <laughs> if you started, if you start at the top and you follow the trail down to the right toward, I think it's called Gongola uh, fall. That's the fastest way to get to good falls. Okay. And uh, but if you start at the and it's about 
three quarters of a mile hike before you hit the first fall, which isn't bad. You start at the bottom, it's a little bit more moderate, but you have to walk a couple miles before you hit the falls and uh, they gradually get better and better, but you're walking uphill the whole time. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to, yeah, no, thank well, you. <laughs> actually, actually, if you're stopping all the time taking pictures, it doesn't take that much of a toll on you. You know what I'm well, saying? I mean, I we did go up hill quite a bit so I, and i was definitely feeling it you know <laughs> so yeah. and but julie, that's probably a good thing right <laughs> get exercise <laughs> but. But julie it's interesting i don't want to make sure i when you were said the heart and everyone were you referring to the leaves or the sky um like both like molly if you use your cursor again to like right here like yeah like that like but the next you, space i think yeah, it, yeah. But if you stare into the, I think Julie, this is where you're going, but I just want to make, if you stare right in the center of the density of the leaves, your brain ta makes a heart there in the middle and it's so oh, okay. beautiful. I see that too. That's interesting. So beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Good. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> this is great. Thank you, Julie. There's also a very nice one on the left hand side, dead center with the green leaves. Oh, left. Right over, a little further left. There you go. There's Aww. another one. Oh, <laughs> love is everywhere. <laughs> <laughs>